Good morning traders, welcome to this week's edition of the Cryptocurrency Market Analysis Webinar. I hope you all had a wonderful week. Uh, it's all panic buttons uh, across the crypto space. Uh, the moves uh, to the upside or the legs uh, to the upside that most uh, long-term investors are looking for are not forthcoming. So let's have a look at uh, what the technicals are saying. Before we get started, if you'd like to contact us, uh, check out the description of all our videos on our YouTube channel. You will find our contact details as well as links to our website and our social media pages. Uh, over the next coming days, uh, we'll be uh, launching our all new website uh, with a new uh, the new link trading waves uh, trading dash waves.com look out for that very uh, well structured for members. So all the tools in one place, as far as the new website is concerned, it's going to be very interesting. We'll go through that uh, in the next uh, session, how the website is going to work. So basically what we do with all the cryptocurrencies, what we do is uh, you will have updated one hour charts uh, before the start of the London Open, uh, you'll also have another. So this is what it looks like. So for example, if you've got a bit, if you're looking at Bitcoin, you will have one hour charts updated before the start of the London session. You will have another update of the one hour charts at the New, New York session. You'll also always have the weekly chart and the daily chart as well as the four hour charts at any given time when you go into the website. If you remember, you will get all these updates. We also have live technology analysis uh, that means uh, not uh, live trading room where we're looking specifically for trade setups where to enter the market where to exit the market where is the take profit areas so that is uh, what we have on the new website we also have uh, as, as we did in the old website uh, uh, trade setups Okay, and cryptocurrency specific trade setups, uh, as you can see there. So that will still be available. And for members, they will still have access to the educational videos. That is the full 10 day course, Elliott Wave Trading course that enables you to analyze any market, whether it is the cryptocurrency stocks, Forex, indices, you name it. Right, so let's get started with uh, this week's analysis. How is the market playing out? So let's first look at what we forecasted last week as far as Bitcoin is concerned and the rest of the cryptocurrencies. Let's have a look at the chart here on the one hour on Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, we, we're looking at this move here. So we're looking for these two give us one, two, three, and then the drop to the downside. So we never really expected that this is gonna go, uh, with this is gonna go to the upside. We're looking for this to be a corrective structure. This is still pushing lower and we are now around uh, the 41 level. Is Where is the reversal coming? So where is the C coming on? So that is the chart before on Bitcoin. Let's see how it has played out so far. Then we're gonna do an update of what we expect going forward. Right, so this is Bitcoin. So that is the expectation here. We expected this to push a little bit higher and for this to drop. Now we've already got that. Are we going to get the reversal there? Does not look like we're going to get it there as yet. We're going to be doing uh, giving an update on that shortly. So this was the chart before. This is how it has played out. The three waves to the upside and we're coming down now. Okay, so more on what we expect going forward in a little while when we start with the market analysis. We also had a focus, clear focus on uh, Ethereum. It had a very clear structure where we expected these to push to the upside and then drop. As you've seen with Ethereum, we've pushed as far as 3680 uh, uh, and then we, we made a move to the downside. So let's uh, have a look at how Ethereum has played out. This is Ethereum, the one hour chart after that forecast. So as you can see here, that move, we focused it. How do we do we know that it was going to come around here, exactly here, and then come to the downside? That is Ethereum. It has even tested the blue box. What do we expect going forward? More on that in a little while. Right, so that was Ethereum. Let's have a look now at Ripple. So what did we focus on Ripple before? Ripple, we focused at this move here. That it was going to push a little bit higher and we we're going to drop. So we never expected the cryptocurrencies to uh, pushed the upside from current levels. So what we were looking for was for them to continue uh, the corrections. Let's have a look and the, at how uh, Ripple has played out now. Okay, so this is all technical. I hear this, uh, I read a lot of noise on Twitter about, about uh, a number of fundamentals affecting 
excuse me, affecting the downside on the cryptocurrencies. What we look at is the technicals. The technicals are clear. It is not hearsay. It is uh, something that is backed up by science. Let's have a look here. So this is what we expected on uh, Ripple. We expected this move to the downside. Is that move complete or we're still going to see more downside on Ripple? More on that in a short while. So that was Ripple before completing that. Look at that ABC in the red degree in the next chart. That is the ABC. That is the C that we're looking at on Ripple. And that's how we forecasted the market last week. Okay, so let's go through what we expect going forward. What do we expect of the market? So looking at Bitcoin, we're looking for these to have made a three-wave pullback and for this to continue pushing to the upside. Are we ready for this to continue to the upside? Looks like Bitcoin. Bitcoin has not reached its blue box, which is around 39, uh, 38 area. So we may still see in the next coming session, Bitcoin continuing to push around uh, the 38 level before reversal to the upside. We may start slowing down here with an ending diagonal as follows. So, but essentially what we're going to be looking at there is a reversal around this level. So Bitcoin, very likely that we can trade as low as the 38 level. Just to remind you why we're looking at that structure in the higher degree uh, on Bitcoin. Let's have a look here on the chart that we've got here uh, for Bitcoin on the daily. Let's have a look at the daily Bitcoin chart so you can see where we're coming from with that. So what we are seeing here is these three waves. That is a wave two in the blue degree that is in the higher degree. So that is why we never expected this to make a leg higher. We're still expecting this to come down here. So that is the leg. We can still come down around 38, 36,000 as far as Bitcoin is concerned before the next leg to the upside. What about the rest? Ethereum, as you've seen the forecast on Ethereum, we're looking for this one to push to the upside here and give us, so this is the structure. We expected this to just be a three-way structure back to the blue box. This is exactly the blue box area on Ethereum. So we can get this one starting to slow down around this level, giving us an ending diagonal before a push to the upside. So we may still trade a little bit lower as far as Ethereum is concerned. Again, just to give you a perspective on the daily chart on Ethereum, let's have a look at this. So this is the daily chart. We're also in wave two on the blue degree, that's why we're expecting that Ethereum can go back as low as 2,400 before we get the next leg to the upside. Okay, so that's what we're looking at on Ethereum. What about Litecoin? Litecoin, similarly, you've seen this one. Litecoin has made what looks like a flat correction now, but because the rest of the cryptocurrencies are still pulling back, we may expect this one to end here with an ending diagonal with this ABC corrective structure and looking for this one to continue pushing to the upside. Again, let's give you a daily chart on this so you can have a perspective on Litecoin. This is daily on Litecoin. So we are currently in this wave two, right in the beginning of the start of the wave two here. So we can go as low as 120 as far as Litecoin is concerned before the next leg to the upside. Right, Ripple, you've also seen this one during trade recaps, how we focus on the move. We're looking for this one to have made one a two and a three. Is this three done? The ABC structure looks like we're still going to see a little bit more downside here. So this looks to be still coming down, slowing down here. We can get an ending diagonal and then the reversal as far as Ripple is concerned. But we're still coming down. The correction is not over as yet. No sign of no signs of reversal as yet. Let's look at the rest. Dogecoin. Okay, now Dogecoin. Also, we were looking for this one to have completed this three wave structure here and then they move to the upside. But the structure on Dogecoin may have changed as follows, or not necessarily have changed, or may just be playing out in this way that we did not focus. One, two, three, one, two, three, W, X, and we can get another one, two, three, before we push to the upside. So Dogecoin may still be pushing to the downside. So let's see how that's gonna play out. We're still watching that. ADA. Now, looking at ADA, it has also made a three-wave pullback as follows. One, two, three. This is what we're looking at last week and for this to do that. But it looks like we're making a complex correction here, double correction here as follows. We're still going to see ADA make another leg lower, giving us an ABC corrective structure. That means you can come down with an impulse to about 1.5 before any reversal uh, to the upside. That is ADA. Solana has failed to break out of this uh, corrective structure. We're looking for this one to break out of this. So looking at this to be a three-way structure here, one, two, three, that does not look like it's gonna go. So we may look to get another corrective structure here as follows. We could end up getting a W, X, Y corrective structure here with a bigger one like this. So let's just have a look at this. So we could be getting this one as a 
three waves to the downside here. One, two, three, pull back one, two, three, before we push to the upside as far as Solana is concerned. So the rest of the structures of the cryptocurrencies is similar. So you'll see that we just continue with those three wave pullbacks. They did not give us the reversals that we were looking for, but it looks like they're slowing down for a reversal. But let's see that we still continue to the downside. We'll see a little bit more downside on the cryptocurrencies. All right, so that's all for this week, guys. I think I can just end with a link. Uh, let's just end with link as a final chart. You'll see all of them have got the same structures. So this is link has had a three wave structure that has traded it into the blue box. So, but it is not going to the upside. So we may see this one make one more down before we push to the upside. But overall, the structure will be a, B, C before we push to the upside as far as link is concerned. Let's keep an eye on this. So the leg to the upside is not ready as yet. We're still seeing these corrective structures to the downside. The weekly chart are still facing downside across all the cryptocurrencies. So we'll be waiting for that to give us an indication of a leg to the upside. That's all I have for you this week, guys. If you like what we do, please do subscribe to our channel. If you've not already done so, drop us a like. So that shows us that you value the content that we're giving you. And also hit that bell notification button so that you don't miss another upload from us. Have a great week, everybody. Cheers. Bye-bye.